what is everyone? Trailer here for the first episode A Pit Fighting. We are here in the global or the yeah, the global verse here in 1988. It's the default verse combined with new characters, new people, new everything. Companies coming in soon. I have sib two weeks in because I got my certain roster rules, everything set up. I just want to get that out of the way off camera. I'm for today's episode. We're gonna go over the roster. I'm gonna book the first event and then watch it in about a month and a week. So let's take a look at it real quick. We can or when we can book. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Missing one person. Um, yeah, well, instead of let's delay or no, let's just go with the or let's delay the event a week. I had to sim just ahead because I thought everyone can make it, but I guess not. We got our TV deal with National Pride TV. They're going to be hosting us on their channel. For Saturday, week 4 of February. Okay, we got some more people now. Alright. Let's, before we do that, let's go over the roster. First up, we got ex Wrestling Expert. And I think the oldest person, well, tied at least, we're the oldest person on the roster, Dan Halverson, who is at, um, he's a wrestler, he's a pretty decent all-around wrestler, but, again, he's 32, so he's, at this point, like, pretty old, or, pretty, like, at his prime, gonna be in a decline soon. And next, we got Francesco Marazzini, Mar Marazzini. The high level judo expert. He's good overall, but he's pretty small. Because like, everyone's going to find one open weight division. So the issue is that he's just pretty small. You then got Jeff Diehard Cahill. Well, tweet striker. With some average wrestling to go along with the striking. And George Lore, our knockout expert. He has high level knocking out. He does kung fu. Makigar Kung Fu to be specific. Greg Adelo, the only BJJ black belt in the whole game right now, game world so far. He's going to be a, definitely a favorite to win just based off his ground game skills. You then got Gastillo Batista. Again, he's another average wrestler, grinder of sorts. Tim Carpenter, our, the most all around worker. I don't think we're going to get him to compete on pit one. Maybe on like an alternative fight, but I don't know if we're going to have him actually go at it um, in the actual tournament because he's, I think, the best overall wrestler. Or best, probably one of the best overall wrestlers, but I want to try to like differentiate or spread out our best people because we got him, Laurent, among others. Mac Boar, one of the top boxers in the game. Insane striking. He's very good point fighting wise down from Manhattan, you know, New York. Coming from Brazil, you got Ricardo Fernandez, great striker with Muay Thai skills to back it up. He has some good wrestling as well, so we'll see how far he goes. Rick Stanley, one of our the heaviest fighters in the game. He's a great striker. He can knock anybody out. He's gonna want to watch out for himself. Sahil Suada, uh Dan Hope to land, just a striker. Topic Wiaya, same thing here, karate expert. Alright, let's create our first roster, our first tournament, pit one tournament. Alright, we're going to have George Laurent, uh, Dan Halverson, just picking who I think, just going to, yeah, Mac, Greg, Comes up. Alright, then over here we have Tafik, Sayo, uh, do we do Rick Stanley? Maybe. Yeah, put Rick Stanley instead of Sayo. 
Um, topic style. Gustavo can take on. That'd be a ground game battle between those two. Oh, can you not make the event? Dang. Alright. Uh. Then just do Francesco. Or, and then we'll have Fernandez. Uh, take on four. Sorry, it's just some hill up here in Washington. Alright, no title fights or anything. Y'all should be good to go. Yeah. Just some title fight camp bullshit. Alright, then we're gonna have Carpenter take on... Do we do Carpenter? Carpenter would kill to hill. Or Suwada. Whatever, we'll do that. Carpenter versus Suwada. That's our alternative fight. Our alternate fight. Cahill will have something for him. Probably he'll be part in our alternate or alternate or in a tournament next mu or next event. But yeah. We're gonna sim. We're gonna be right back for when the event starts. So see you all in just a second. Alright, time for some pit fighting time. We are in a cage here. So we go ahead. The first ever pit fighting matchup. Dan Howerson, the perfectionist, takes on the judo expert Francesco Marazzini. Marazzini is predicted to win this one by betting line. Let's see how it goes. It's Harris is going to have, yeah, 20 pounds on Marazzini. 152, 176, respectively. Harris can throw some punches. Harris is going to be better on the feet right now. Right jab. Yeah, both guys seem to be concerned about the ground game. Harrison's just getting a lot of strikes in on Marzini. He's my so far I think he's winning this fight. This game let's get lots of good hits here. Marzini's getting the occasional jab or one too. Oh Harrison's trying to breathe in. That's not good, especially when you have two more fights after this potentially, Dan. Goes a punch. Morzini avoids it. That would be can for Iverson. He's trying to do whatever it takes here. Marzini will not go down lightly. Marzini is a younger fighter for sure, but Harrison seems to be doing better here. Stand trade. Yeah, misses. Yeah, Harrison's doing really good. Amarzini's gonna go for a Jew throw. Gets it. Yeah. Can't pass guard. Oh, Alright. Sorry, guys. I just expected the hill. Oh. Harrison's on his back now, pulling guard. Uses control scramble begins. Again. Yeah. Oh, no. This time, Mazzarini ends up in guard. Oh no. Oh wait. No, never mind. Or, yes? I don't know exactly who's down or who's up and down, but whatever. Alright, if the game wants to give it to Harrison, let's see what the judges go for. Sean Noel, Skulls Fight 10 9 Harrison. Malcolm Samuelson scores the contest 10 9. For Marazzini. And Abby Crazen scores the contest. 10 9 for your winner. The perfectionist. Dan Halverson. And he gets the split decision victory. Pretty close fight there. The ground late takedown helped Marazzini get those. That one judge, I think. 
All right, Brazilian. Brazilian takes on the American. New York versus Brazil. Let's go at it here. Two strikers. The winner will take on Dan Harrison, the wrestler. Flores, they're just saying he's 20 pounds heavier than Fernandez. A right hook. It's a bit cut under Fernandez's eye. Or it's right hand. Guy's going toe to toe right now, it looks like. Oh, I think Flores starting to get a little advantage here. Or a little lead. I'll oh, check the cut. Minor cut. The fight's gonna continue. We're engaged. Big spin kick to the body. Flores starting to slow down. Flores has a nice right cross. I think Fernandez is more all around with his kicks and punches. Well, Fuller is almost exclusively going for those, um, what should we call them? Those, like, punches to the head or body, like boxing. Kick coming with kind of the right hook. Yeah, Fernandez is missing a lot of his shots. Fuller is gaining him good. Fair is now standing and banging. Right high kick, but four is trying to slow down. Oh, clinch up. Grabs Langs around where he's falling, and pulling onto the floor. Uh oh. Fernandez gets four onto the ground. Oh, scramble. Oh, four is on his back, not pulling guard. Man, I'm doing really good on the ground. Oh, it gets double hooks now. Oh, can't get it, I guess. Alright, referee rings both men back up. Fernandez himself is slowing down. Uh-oh. Broken nose here for Fernandez. That might, that's going to hurt his chances. Eight seconds of the fight. Both men are exhausted. And that's it for the fight. I think that's going to go for four here. Four got a lot more punches than Ricardo did. Or Fernandez, it might be. Yeah. Alright. 10-8. 10-8 and 10-9 for your winner. The Me Machine Mac Bowler. The Me Machine moves on. He's got to take on, what's his name? Uh, uh, Dan Harrison next round. Should be an interesting fight. Now, Jiu-Jitsu Black Belt, Greg Adeville takes on the Pitbull, the heavyweight, Rick Stanley, the heaviest player on the roster. Let's see how this goes. Yeah, it was massive size advantage. If I'm out of it, I'm getting Stanley on the ground as fast as I can and use my Jiu-Jitsu. Here, chaps. Strength exchange here. He's going to stock forward. Oh, lands a nice hook. Nice left jab by Stanley. It's a big left jab. Hat jab. Stanley's being a little cocky here. Yeah, Abel needs to do something to get him on the ground. Stanley's already tired. That's not going to be good for Stanley if... This goes to decision. I don't know if it's not going to go to the ground, I guess. He just hasn't gone it yet. He seems to be willing to just keep standing. Then he keeps going up. Sheer willpower keeping him. Yeah. I will have some instructions. Hopefully, tell him to kill on the ground. Does he, like, really good at wrestling? Even then, you have a black belt. Yeah, he's only like... What are you, are you like, loving to strike? No. You have the jujitsu skills. Take him down. Stanley's starting to feel fatigue, yeah. And Stanley's just toying with you right now. Oh, yeah, I have a leg is hurting. Still. Like, I don't know. Go for a runner choke. You can do that pretty easily with just your hands. Or Adelaide's just tired and the game has noticed. I don't know. 
He hits out of the beautiful. Oh, he knocks him down. He losing pounds away. But he, it looks like Avalos covered up nicely. Can't cover up. Avalos struggles. Stanley keeps pounding away. Stanley blocks Avalos while trying to move. Uh, another big elbow strike. Avalos, Stanley keeping Avalos down right here. Yeah, Avalos, I think, done. He's just not, yeah. Another cut on Avalos. And the fight's all done. Alright. All three judges will give the score 10 9. For your winner, the Pitbull Rick Stanley. Disappointed performance there by the master. And now he just kept standing and banging. Alright. We have had no finishes so far tonight. All have gone to decision. Will George Lauren or Tofti Wijaya, two striking experts, make it do it here? Get their first finish of the night. Let's find out. Or ignores the offer to touch gloves. Uh oh. So I, I think I might have actually skipped a head bunch. Let's try. Gets a good left hook. Jala is not fearful of Warren, it seems. It's a nice left hand. Jala is going to let Warren step in. Are you a karate expert? I think, whatever, well, I don't know if that's the best idea allowing a guy who's like, what, almost 70 pounds better than you come in there, but, or come near you, but whatever. Just fearfulness, or fearlessness from Tafik. I'm going to see Cage. Laurent drops down, goes for a takedown, which all blocks the attempt. Again, no, again, no. <laughs> Again, no. Again, no. Again, no. Again, no. Again, no. Oh my god. We get it. Again, he gets it finally. Okay. Rajala's left seed. Lawrence tries to pound. Can't get anything going. Trying to go for some ground pound. Can't get anything here. <laughs> I can't get them out. If we separate both guys, Lawrence already tired. Well, Jala's tired himself. Yeah, Lawrence gonna clinch up, get some backs him against the cage. Grab one here. Slaughters him. Whoever brings him back out. Comes forward. Mate left in the fight here. Lawrence gonna need some water or something. Single controls up against the cage again. Lawrence gonna probably win this fight here. Yeah. Well, it's one round. <laughs> yeah. Game 10 9. 10 9, 10 8 for your winner. By unanimous decision, George. Knock him out, Lawrence. Alright, we've had no finishes so far, no submissions. Can Jim Carpenter or. Stan and Hope Land himself, Silo Siata, get anything and find out. Size difference. Touch of gloves. What's oh, coming in? So I have a cut in his eye now. Ooh, he might have just broken his hand. That's going to be tough. And we're going to check on the cut and see what it is. And the fight's going to continue. F kicks the bike. Carver shooting. Gets a huge double leg takedown. Oh, he's going for a choke. Oh, guillotine. And we get our first submission in pit history as Jim Carpenter forces I hope to Suada to, to, to tap out to a guillotine. Howard must be excited for that. Alright, move on to the semifinals here. Dan versus Matt. Can the Big Mac, the mean machine, get the victory here? Or will the perfectionist use his wrestling to his advantage? Wanna find out here? Let's touch gloves. Both men are tired though. 
At least Howerson is. Oh, no, never mind. Four are all tired. Sloppy clinch here. Oh, he gets a takedown of some sort. Oh, he's gonna go for an armbar. Can't get it. Always gonna pepper him with strong strikes. And then four is on top of powers, and yeah. Referee's gonna make both men stand back up. Give me a good four there. Neither is getting anywhere. But four is starting to get really tired. Can Harrison capitalize? Oh, I'm gonna clinch up here. Harrison pushes four up against the cage. Seems to be content keeping him here, but Harrison, because he's exhausted. Just imagine how much the body's aching after that first fight for both of these men. Hot referee brings open back out right in the middle. Gage. I think you're both just too tired to go for a knockout or a submission. I was gonna push him up again. You can push them up again. Yeah, both my yeah, I wasn't both guys gas tanks are empty. Yeah, this is not a good fight. Both men are just super tired from their first fights, and they are not enough iron to really do anything here. Nice jab. No clinch here. Oh, Ford is not land. Oh, yeah, Ford gets dominant of the grapple there. And yeah, all three judges to the kind of 10 9 for your winner by unanimous decision. The perfectionist, Dan Halverson. Dan Halverson moves on to the next round after that, in my opinion, boring fight. Congrats to Danny. He's going to take on one of these two behemoths of men and mass and everything. Lauren has, or Stanley has 30 pounds on Lauren. Which means, like in a minute here, if Stanley wins, he's going to have what? Near 70 pounds, I think, on Howerson. It's just 68, yeah. I'll say 66. I think that's the best number. There you go. 30 pound difference there between the two guys. Barry's engaged. Big left hook from Lauren. That hurts Stanley as he smiles at. Yeah, both men are tired though. Now let's hand for at Lauren. Collapse into a clinch. Stanley goes for takedown. That's a good. Now one. Nope. Back to standoff. Stanley's gonna keep going. He has that zombie mentality. He's just gonna keep going relentless mentality. That's going to be tough for Lauren to get past. Yeah. Big pair of strike. Are you getting ready for striking exchange? Exchange. <laughs> exchange. Nah, whatever. Oh, you guys are just all barbering at this point. I was saying it's over. Takedown. Can't get. No, nope, can't get. Oh, Lauren goes for takedown, can't get. Dan goes for it again, can't get. We both stop grappling after that. Uh oh, he got him with what was that? A left cross. Stan looks hurt. Another left hand. Big uppercut, but then I get all of it. Then he blocked it. He Stanley trapped against the cage. Oh, he misses Stanley. Back out of range. Uh, it looks like he's regained his consciousness. That's gonna be a big point here for the judges. Big importance that one knockdown. Almost knockdown. Big strike. Lauren goes for takedown. Can't get it. Stanley still has in my own place. Neither of them can get a takedown on each other. I guess Stanley has some jujitsu skills. It's just more than one let him take him down. Or wrestling skills at the very least. I'm going to check the con Stanley. It's not a fight under. Alright. Both guys meet in the center. Nice job. Both men look shattered. Stanley goes for takedown. Can't get it. Can't get. 
Can't get. Can't get. Stanley initiates a break from the grappler. Big hook here. And the fans there. Looks like they're gonna try to get to Lauren Let's see what the judges say. All of you do the story con is 10-9. For your winner, George! Knock him out! Laurent! Big fight there for George as he moves on to take on Dan Howerson, the wrestler. Dan How Harvison. <laughs> yeah, the big strike there from George is gonna help him out. Help him out there. Alright, the winner wins the Pit One tournament. Will George Moore win in representing England? Or will the perfectionist Dan Howerson prove why he becomes the perfectionist? Alright, let's find out for Pit One. Lawrence to get 30 pounds heavier than Dan Harrison. Almost 40. Lawrence does not touch gloves. Here we go. Marilani hits now. One, two. And the left hand exchange. Throw the two punch combo. Harrison's gas tank is empty. You can barely stand according to them. Uh, both men are moving in slow motion. All right. Judge, I think we're about to get 30 minutes of two people. The score is the judge's scorecard because I think they're both just done. Sorry, more brain or pale. Bag clinch. Lauren blocks it. Takes control of the grappling. Lauren goes for takedown. Can't get. Can't get. Harrison can't get a takedown himself. Or can't get any more takedowns. Back to standoff. Lawrence pressuring Harrison here. Big uppercut. Oh, Harrison falls. Lawrence plucks and pounces. Fires away. Can't eat now. He can't get it. Harrison tries to pull guard. Can't get it. Lawrence pounds away. He won't let you pull guard, Harrison. Jesus Christ. Works. Sure. Slowing things down now. Beverly brings both men up. I can continue striking Brett down. That. <laughs> both better can continue our striking battle. Warren can get a takedown. Harrison attempts to. Oh, wait. Whoa. whoa, 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 whoa what? Just pull Warren to the ground. He gets pulled on, sucked into the guard position. Uh oh. Harrison goes for an armbar. Warren blocks it. Warren's not taking control of the ground game. Want to try to smother him. Referee brings both men up. And he ends up big. Oh, Harrison falls. Big left cross. Pounds away. Oh, but he can't get anything, though. Again, he does not. Um. Sorry. Um. I had something there. Yeah, I think at this point, Howerson's doing really, or Lawrence's doing really good. One goes for Kamor. Howerson blocks it. Again, the <laughs> referee I feel bad for. He has to keep seeing these guys up. Misses. Nice left hook. Can't get it. And going. Both men are just, I think, tired. But they're going to keep going, I guess. Oh, he takes control of the clinch. Oh, takedown. No. Oh, he's going to go for an arm bar? No, can't get it. Yeah, Lawrence doing pretty good here in terms of top control. Strikes. Harrison grabs Laurent. Goes over again. Nope. Stand back up. Laurent's going to probably win this, I think. Harrison's going to need to get do it again try to go for submission. Oh, broken nose. For Harrison, this might be. He's definitely in trouble here. Oh, uh, he broke his hand. Laurent did. Laurent's going to clinch up. Muscles Harrison up against the cage. 
some more uh, wrestling skills here, but Harrison works enough space. Fall into a clinch. Long goes for a trip takedown. Unsuccessful. Again, unsuccessful. Alright, looks like they're going to continue this process of striking it out. 13 seconds left. And that's it. Yeah, they're going to give it to total domination. The game wants it to. Let's take a look at the thing there. Yeah, not a lot of strikes, damn it. Most of it came from the ground. But Lauren dominated on the ground. Got 12 power punches, for God's sake. Yeah, really good job there for Lauren. Alright. All you just scored a contest 10 9 for your winner, George Knockamout Laurent. The British fighter gets the victory here at 26 years old. We've had all the decisions, <laughs> all of them. This was not, god dang it, that's not the best card, guys. We're gonna see <laughs> way more finishes. Jesus, all right. Carver's gonna get the most money because he got the only one that got submission. And Friday the night bonus. Warren gonna get second. Siwata got some of that money for the Friday night performance. Uh, Harrison follows, followed by Stanley, Bowler, and then Wiaya, Greg, Ricardo, and Francesco are all getting the least amount of money out of anyone. So, yeah. Alright, there's some injuries. Ricardo was injured with a broken nose, broken wrist for Jim Carpenter, broken nose for Dan Halverson, and a broken wrist for George Warren. The Red Mattis mad at us. We'll Go deal with that. <laughs> Alright, I don't think the rank is up there, do they? Oh, you don't want to update it. Alright, how long are you guys going to be out for? Two weeks and two months for uh, Dan Howerson. Uh, Chess goes out for 41 days. Warren is out for three months and two weeks, so he's not going to be fighting for a little bit. Red Adeveld. Going to be back in. Two months and two weeks for that loss to Rick Stanley. Jim, for some reason, going to be out for three months and two weeks himself, so he's not going to fight at pit two. Boar is going to be back in four days. <laughs> Jesus. Fernandez, going to be back in two months. Stanley, going to be back in two months. Siahu, going to be back in 46 days. And Tavik, going to be back in 46 days. So, let's... <laughs> I'm going to sim head two months, and that's where I'm going to start episode two off. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys next time.